Hello, this is from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to a free add-on called, free add-on, not free on, but a free add-on called the Dynamic Rain add-on. Um, to download it, um, I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can download yourself and check it out. But to download the add-on, uh, go to the Gumroad site that I provided below this video and click on this area, type in zero, but if you want to help the developer out, you can type in whatever dollar amount you can or want to give. They can keep on making these add-ons. And click on I want this, and they'll send you the zip file so you can download it onto your system and install it in Blender. And this works in Blender 3.6 and above. Uh, right, my, right now, myself, I'm using 3.61 or 6.1. And the installation process is still the same. Go to Edit. Preferences. Uh, make sure you're in the add-on section of the interface here. Click on Install. Navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system. Click on Install Add-on, and it should be installed into Blender. Let me type in Rain myself, and put check in the box, and it's ready to go. And it's on the right-hand side of the UI, which is the toolbar over here at the bottom. And it's just a simple, straightforward uh, interface to look at. There's nothing too complicated about it. Uh, but what it does do is that it creates its own collection inside of Blender uh, for you to use the objects in. So let's delete this cube, left click on the cube, make sure it's highlighted, and then press delete on your keyboard. And then click on this, uh, you can call it a thumbnail of the raindrops there and click on that drop down and it creates a cube here with rain above it. And then once you press play, the rain begins to fall. Now the interesting thing about this add-on is that when the rain falls slowly, it collects on top of whatever object is there. And as I said before, it creates its own collection. So if we were to place an object in here and we don't put it inside of the object collection, it's not going to interact with whatever uh, model is in the scene. Let me show you what I mean. Let me press it on our keyboard. Uh, Shift A, and we're going to bring in Suzanne, monkey. And we're going to let's pivot her around to left click or hold down our middle mouse button and kind of move our mouse to kind of reposition her so she's looking straight at us. Click on our move gizmo. We're going to drag, left click, and drag on the Z axis, pull her up a little bit. Let's scroll out with our mouse wheel. And reposition our scene by moving our moving the scene with our hand gizmo. And if we press play animation again, you can see that the rain is falling, but it's not interacting with Suzanne at all. It's just going straight through her and landing on top of the cube. So we're going to stop this, go back to the beginning, and in our uh, panel over here, we're going to left click and drag. Suzanne up to the OBJ collection of the uh, Dynamic Rain add-on collection that was created. And now Suzanne is in this object collection. And when we press play again, you can see that now the rain is interacting with her. Now you can see that this add-on is not, you know, kind of well done, so to speak, because you can see that the raindrops or pretty much hovering over the edge of the objects, which I'm thinking or hoping that the developer will fix as time goes on. Uh, but in order for the rain to have more of a splash effect on the objects, because right now it's just collecting because the rain is falling slowly. Let's go back to the beginning. I left click here and it's always negative integers uh, in this slot here. If you put a positive one and above, in the positive form, the range is going to go up. So it's negative. So negative one, enter. And that makes the rain fall faster. And when we press play, you can see that the rain is now splashing off of Suzanne and the cube. Let, let me highlight the rain here and press play. You can see that there are splashes. So that's pretty cool when it comes to how the rain interacts with objects inside of Blender. Uh, when it falls quickly, it splashes off objects. When it falls slowly, it collects. But once again, when it comes to the slow falling rain, uh, just be kind of mindful of how it kind of collects, because as we saw prior, 
it kind of collects over the edge of objects, not really on top of the objects in some uh, places. And the good thing about the uh, rain is that it's textured, which is helpful. And it works both in Eevee and in Cycles. But once again, Cycles looks better. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. I hope it was helpful for those of you who have watched it. And yeah, download it yourselves and check it out. Give it a, a walkthrough for yourselves and just, you know, see how it works in your scenes. And once again, uh, remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.